Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Michelle and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys my updated skin routine. I get so many compliments from you guys and I appreciate You guys tend to think that my skin is just flawless and I wish that was the case but it's not. It's all about what you use and how consistent you are with what you're using. If you guys are interested to see how your girl gets her skin nice and clear and glowy then give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have your bell turned on and let's jump right into this video. Now the first thing that you need to figure out is what skin type you have. As for me I have really really oily skin which is very annoying because my skin tends to get greasy throughout the day more so on my eyelids and on my forehead. Oily skin has a lot to do with excess sebum in the skin. Skin. Some people suffer with combination skin. Some people have dry skin. We all have some type of struggle, okay? So I want to make sure that whatever it is that I'm using on my face is one, gonna clean it, two, a really good cleanser, three, is non-harsh and doesn't contain any chemicals. A lot of people make the mistake of trying different products because they're acne prone or their skin is just going crazy. So you just go to the store and you're just gonna pick up different products just to fix the problem. But in all reality, using too many products at one time can make your skincare issue worse. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to start off with my cleanser. So I normally alternate between two of my cleansers, but for today I use Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser, which is amazing, guys. It always removes impurities. It improves my complexion. It's great for clearing your skin. It helps to detoxify your pores. It's non-clogging. It's suitable for acne-prone skin, and it's hyperallergenic. It's very, very, very gentle for all skin types, especially if you suffer with breakouts. It won't irritate your skin. So I always like to apply this to my skin first, rub it in a circular motion for a couple of seconds just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and wake my skin up. And then I'm going to follow up with my Vanity Planet Spin Brush, which is clutch. I use this every single day, which helps to remove dead skin cells and lift dirt and trapped oil deep into your pores, as well as helping to exfoliate the skin. Skin. It helps to fight breakouts. It targets oily skin and invigorates your whole body with just one simple system. I swear by this because it always leaves my skin amazing and it helps to get really underneath your skin where there's trapped dirt, which can cause clog pores, which then causes a lot of breakouts. Once you have cleansed your face, you wanna follow up with a good moisturizer. The moisturizer that I swear by is aloe vera. The actual aloe vera plant, you can get it at the local grocery store. And I know a lot of people use like lotions and stuff like that, but I noticed that my face gets really, really greasy with that. So I'm gonna use the actual aloe plant, which really gives my skin that glow, which really heals and restores and just gives me like that overall healthy, vibrant, you know, natural glowy skin. So next I'm gonna go in with my aloe vera. You guys know I use this on my hair, but I also use this on my skin. And let me tell you, aloe vera is the GOAT. It is amazing for healing any type of skin conditions, acne, eczema, sunburn, whatever it is, it's a great moisturizing agent. It also tightens the skin and leaves it that gives it that natural glow that we all want. And I really love this because my face always just feels so refreshed after using it. And it's natural and it's inexpensive. And it just does the job for any and everything that's going on with the body so especially if you're having a breakout and it's painful and it's irritated and it's red this will definitely help to soothe it and calm it down so now I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow razor which really helps to remove any of the hairs that you have on your face it helps to just really smooth the skin out and it just makes my skin look and feel amazing once I do this I don't do this too often maybe once every three weeks because you don't want to irritate your skin with a razor but wherever you see a little bit of peach fuzz or you know small hairs you can remove that you know just to give you that smooth finished look Okay, now that I rinse off the aloe vera, my skin feels so clean and now it's time to use a toner. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on my cotton swab. And I love witch hazel, especially the lavender one, because it has the cool and calming effect. And it helps to relieve any inflammation. It tightens your pores and it helps with razor bumps. It may also help reduce acne. However, witch hazel should not be used on anybody who has extremely dry or sensitive skin, which can then cause irritation. But I love this because even after washing my face, you'd be surprised that you still have dirt on your face and you can actually see it. And I make sure to get underneath my neck as well. It also helps with hyperpigmentation and lightens dark marks due to acne. So here I'm just fanning my face to ensure that the witch hazel is dry. And here I just wanted to show you guys some of the areas and where my skin struggles. I'm prone to blackheads, which is due to clogged pores. But since using witch hazel, they have gotten less and less, being that it helps to dry out acne blemishes as well as whiteheads. After following up with the toner, my skin feels so tight. It feels like, ooh. So now I'm gonna go in with my plumping serum, this hydro plumping serum that contains hyaluronic acid. And this is really good to apply. It's, it's really good for like plumping your skin, giving you that youthful look that you want, helping with fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm just gonna take a few drops. Hyaluronic acid supplements can help increase skin moisture and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Topical treatments can soothe redness and dermatitis. It also helps to improve your skin's elasticity as well as brighten your skin's appearance. Skin will appear smoother and plumped with hydration after using. And last but not least, I'm going to follow up with my Paula's Choice a Youth Extending Daily Hydrated Fluid, which is a broad spectrum with SPF 50, water light, minimizes the appearance of pores, helps preventing UV damage and all that good stuff. So it's great for normal, oily, and combination skin. So when applying sunscreen, you want to make sure that you're applying enough. And I just recently learned about the two-finger rule, which equates to one-fourth to a half a teaspoon, which can be used for your face and neck to really get that protection that your skin needs. Sunscreen protects your skin from UV. UV rays. The depletion of the ozone layer has increased our risk of sun damage from harmful UV rays. Sunscreen blocks these rays, greatly reducing the likelihood of sunburn. By applying sunscreen each day, you cut your risk of contracting skin cancers in half. This pretty much wraps up my updated skincare routine. Okay? Glow in. So this is a really simple regimen that I've been doing for a couple of months. I wanted to make sure I had it down packed before I did this video, but my skin feels amazing. I do this morning and sometimes at night. Make sure that you are always washing your face and try to go for products that are really natural. Stick to things that are natural that have less chemicals in it, especially if you're acne prone. Me, I have oily skin and large pores, and as you can see, my skin looks amazing right now. Everybody has different skin. Certain products may not work for you that may work for me, but I think you should give this a shot because I have sensitive skin as well, and all of these products are very, very gentle. So if you guys enjoyed my updated skin routine, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Comment down below some good cleansers or SPFs or some sunblocks that you guys use. Whatever it is, let me know some skin issues that you may struggle with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. That will be down below. And your girl got the P.O. Box. Love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video.